why is Karl Marx and the Communist Manifesto and socialism and all those things, why are they still around? Why are we still talking about them? Well, from the post that I made the other day, because all, all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. If you have a constitution that, that to be president only has three requirements, like you have to be born in this country, you have to you have to be 35 years or older and you have to have lived in the country for the past 14 years i mean have you ever have you ever seen any kind of job that that has those requirements because that's the that's the stupidest thing i have ever heard in my life so if you have a constitution that a declare communists can run for president or declare satanists or any any anybody that you want to think of even a christian or you or anybody that could run for office for office this whole concept of a president of the country whatever this is absurd absurd because this is illogical is anti-reason anti-logic anti-god anti-free markets is all all of those things Yet this idea has been sold and it has, I guess it has infiltrated into our culture slowly without, I mean, there are people, there are people that are, many people that are against the constitution that they are aware, they know that this is, this is nonsense. But there are more perspectives, there are more perspectives and reasons why this is, this is the biggest joke, the biggest mistake and that's why things don't work because you have a person a human being that is running to be the president of the united states to have control of of of, of if there is a war and certain things that they got, that they have control over like executive orders and then there is a group of people because this this president this person that is running for president only becomes president based on popularity and and his or her ability to speak and to sell a product because that's what they are they're sales people they have no real facts or data or evidence or they have never had the job of a president before unless somebody already was a president and they are promising a group of people something that they are going that they are going to take the rights away from another group of people to give it to this group of people that they want them to vote for for, for them so how can you have how can how can this be even acceptable this is not how free markets work why would we have a system that goes against how free markets work against true freedom and and, and 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 logic and reason how can we do that and continue to do this over and over again the reason is blindness blindness people do not see what what is going on people do not understand how things work they accept it like they accept religion they accept somebody selling them something that they don't understand what it is so if they need it, it, it it's just the the untrained, the uneducated uh, mind will act like that, will accept things without questioning them. And when, when people do that, you get disaster. You get corruption, you get chaos, you get, and you get crime, and, and it's all sorts of bad things happen. When people accept things without knowing or questioning, why are we doing this? Why are you doing this? So Karl Marx, uh, the Communist Manifesto, Socialism, whatever you want to call it, why these things are still around? Because the system, the government system that we have allows that and feeds that. Because if we would be in a free market society or in a God-driven society, those things would not exist. Somebody somebody's going about their business doing doing the thing somebody who's educated of course because then that comes into play you know um 
children children are not raised with a, with a with a high level of uh, with a high standard with first class education and, and logic and reason and, and how econ the economic system works how life works none of those things people are taught children are not taught in none of those things so to use an example i could use the jewish culture why the jewish culture is an example an example because it's not perfect but it's an example of why if you have educated kids in in the right thing they will not depart they will not accept communism or or marxism or whatever or any of those crazy things uh, and then uh, there will not be a system of somebody running for president there will be no such thing because how can somebody become president and and take control of the of of the interest rates and all those things and and have all this power the power belongs to us when you when the power belongs to us there is balance when the power belongs to one or to a group of people there is disaster but people are worried more about if they're going to go to the mall or if they're going to watch the show or if they're going to do those things you know all these things that is good those things are good if we were living in the right system they will be good you know of course we, we want to live and we don't want the, we don't want these problems but every day every year things get worse and worse i've seen it because i'm 64 years old and i've seen the the decay happening before my eyes and everybody sees it so there are many many problems there are many problems and this is the reason and this is the reason why people are still talking about marxism why you could have people running and calling themselves socialist de uh, democratic socialists like why why should i care about that what you call yourself or what you want you, as long as you don't touch my money my property my freedoms you could be and think whatever you want but you're not going to go anywhere right because if somebody has a bright idea this bright idea has to have uh, has to have a history of success it has to have you know a proven record that it works and educated people will not accept it real people who are real educated in real uh, facts about how life works they will never accept it but if you have people who are living on welfare and living in all and all these things and, and 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 getting the education that that you get that people are still cheering for the pre for a president or for a governor or for anything like this is total slavery and that's the only reason that marxism is still around and and, and you know this is this will happen and i got i was caught up in that too I was caught up in that too because I was also raised in this in this environment. But I always look for the truth, and I learn to zoom out and see see the big picture. You have to zoom out to see the big picture to see what is going on here. What is what is this? Why is this here? Why is this problem still happening? You have to zoom out and see and ask questions and say how come we still have the same problem there's something wrong because we're still having the same problem so there has to be another reason why why we're still in the same problem in in the same hole and that's that's it that's the reason it's like an it's like a drug addict that has all this problem because he, he doesn't look back and say wait a minute you, this is you're doing drugs this is why you're in this condition you zoom out and you look at what you do and you see what and you're going to see the, the the light you cannot be zoomed in in the part of a car and know what it is you have to zoom out to know that it's a car and to know how it works or like an engine you have to take it apart you have to, to in order to understand how the engine works you have to zoom out take it apart and to understand how this thing these things work like i myself i was never aware that anybody could run for president and now say wait a minute this is this is a huge problem 
a huge problem because supposedly knowing the history of, let's say, of, of quote-unquote Marxism and communism, knowing that history, I mean, the people who wrote when the, when the Constitution was amended, why didn't, um, after all the history, why, and, and after this country fighting against communist nations and, and, and people dying for all this, why wasn't the Constitution amended and changed and said, no, you cannot, if you have these beliefs, you cannot run. So you're telling the people, the majority of people or, or half of the people that, that they're going to run and they could run. And not only that, but you're going to steal their money to fund their campaigns. That is like barbaric, uh, incomprehensible, the, the, the level of, of ignorance and stupidity to, to do that. But we have it live, people running for president and for positions, positions. We are the ones to have, that are supposed to have the position. We pay their salary. They're not, they're not supposed to have no positions. But everything has been turned around. The tables have been turned around. And this is what you get. This is what the world produces. This is what ungodly people produce. This is the logic of the flesh. This is what you get. This is, is chaos, total chaos. But the good news is that it's not going to last. Because it doesn't produce anything good. It falls apart. And it's falling apart. So if you, you know, when you ask yourself the question, why are people still talking about Marxism? The, the government is Marxism. But people are focused on Marxism, not knowing that government, governments are Marxism. Because it's the, word, the word itself tells you, it's government, it governs you. And the people who wrote the Constitution were completely lost they, they they have no idea how obviously how how markets work how things work they have these philosophical ideas that they thought that you know oh, if we write these things these philosophical words this is this is going to work and and we have check and checks and balances no when the people who wrote the constitution wrote congress should have the power right there it, you don't know what you're saying because who are you to give Congress power over the people's money? So the Constitution is not from enlightened people. It's not a tremendous uh, work of, of art or, or, or document. It's not a it's not a, a doc. It's not a great document. It's a, it's, it's garbage. And it's, it's the reason why are we in this situation right now, right? Because the foundation, the foundation, which is the Constitution. Is garbage and now we get what we get so thank you for listening again I want to use someone else's quote that says walk with the king and be a blessing there has never been a more opportune time opportune time to use that phrase okay walk with God stay separate yourself from the world the world is no good. It produces nothing good. If you're a believer, a follower of Yahweh, you are not to vote. You are not to file taxes. You are not to answer to the government. You only answer to God. And no, you are not breaking any laws. You are not violating any laws because God alone can make laws. No human being can make laws over you. You need to understand that. I'll see you in the next video.